hello everyone in this video session i will discuss about the woodward fisher rule which we use to predict the lambda max value for different organic molecules <coughs> so woodward fisher rule help to uh, to predict the uh, lambda max value for different organic molecules and then we can compare it the predicted values with observed value using uv spectrometers and so uh, first we will discuss about the dynes so woodward and fisher devise an empirical correlation of structural validation that enables us to predict the wavelength at which a conjugated dyne will absorb the uv visible radiation so this is the example of transoid means trans dyne and they absorb uv light at 214 nanometer while when uh, they observe using uv spectrometer they show at 217 nanometer so that's a very close now if we make it substituted by methyl group like in this way so we have one two three methyl substituted group on this transoid which shows a uv absorption at 214 nanometer now each alkyl group increases it, it by value of 5 so means there will be total increment of 15 so now the predicted value become 2 to 9 nanometer when we observe it goes 2 to 8 nanometer so again the Woodward feature rule was able to predict to predict the lambda max value for this three methyl substituted transoid this is the another example of cyclic dynes so in case of transoid means these dynes are trans to each other there the parent value is 240 nanometer and the ring residues like these ring residues on this dyne so means there we have one two three ring residues is residue increase it by five so totally there will be three into five is equal to 15 increment now we also have to look for exocyclic double bond so this is the exocyclic double bond for this ring so one exocyclic double bond increase the value by five so now the total value will be 234 nanometer according to Woodward fissure rule but and the observed value using uv spectrometer for this molecule is 235 nanometer so these again are very close so again polar feature rule is useful to predict the value for a cyclic time now this is the example of another dyne which is also trans because both double bond are trans to each other again it has one two three ring residues so means total increment due to ring residue will be 15 now it also has one exocyclic double bond that increase it by five now there's a one more substituent that's a och2 ch3 means or and that increase the value by six so when we add all these value it came to 40 nanometer according to world war feature rule. and the observed value is 241 nanometer for this molecule so again these were the very close now based on this calculation this table was presented and it shows the increment due to all substituent or exocyclic double bond or extended conjugation so the parent value for homo annular this is the example of homo annular dyne means both are in same ring so the parent value for this type of dyne is 253 nanometer and the parent value for hetero annular dyne means this type of dyne is 240 nanometer now you have to look for all the substituent or exocyclic double bond or extended conjugation in the parent values which will add in these parent values so means increment will be for double bond extended conjugation if i add one extra double bond that will increase this value by 30 so these are the parent value if there is a uh, there is an extended double bond that value increase by 30 if there is a alkyl substituent this value will increase by 5 exocyclic double bond will add 5 in both parent values now groups if there is a ococ3 that will add nothing in the parent values if or means ocs3 ocs2 cs3 will add 6 6 in the parent values halides will add 5 in the parent value while any amine like uh, alkyl amine aromatic amines will add 60 to the parent value so based on these increments we can calculate the lambda max for different organic molecules so let's discuss the, these two examples so this dyne this is the parent dyne which is cisoid and cisoid according to this table has 
parent value 253 for lambda max so means this double bond will absorb uv radiation at 253 nanometer now we will have to look for alkyl substituent first so this double bond dying or this system has one two three three ring residues so this each ring residue increase the value by five means three ring residues will increase by 15 now it has one alkyl substituent also so according to this table all alkyl substituent increase the parent value by five so means this alkyl substituent on this dyne will increase the value by five now there is also exocyclic bond means this double bond is exocyclic for this ring so this will increase the parent value by five so finally after adding these all we got 217.8 nanometer according to Woodward feature rule while the observed value was 275 again so this is very close now this is the example of another dyne so there's a various dynes but we take this parent as a cisoid as the parent dyne so again cisoid shows the lambda 253 now we will look for other substituent and extra double bonds so now ring residues first we will count the ring residues so there is a one two three four and five ring residues so each ring residues increases by five so finally we will have total 25 increment now double bond extended conjugation so this is the parent and this is the extended double bond this is also extended double bond so finally we have a total two extended double bonds with this parent dime so total increment will be 2 is to 30 that is 60 now look for exocyclic double bond so this is exocyclic for this ring this is exocyclic for this ring and this bond is exocyclic for this ring so finally there is a total three exocyclic double bonds so total increment will be 3 is to 5 equal to 15 now this CS3 COO group, which does not give any increment, as we can see in this table. CO, CO, CS3 does not have any increment in the parent value. So, means there will be zero increment. So, again, this will not affect the lambda max value. So, we will put in zero. So, when we will add all this value, we are getting 353 nanometer according to Woodward feature rule. But the object value was 255. So, again, they are very close. And Woodward feature rule was able to, to predict the lambda max value for this molecule now we will do the calculation according to Woodward rule for enones also so the conjugation of a double bond with the carbonyl group leads to intense absorption due to pi to pi strand transition of the carbonyl group found between 220 and 250 nanometer in simple enone so this is the parent enone system and the base value for six membered ring or acyclic is that 250 nanometer but if it's five membered this is the enone and in the five member ring the parent value is 202 nanometer for acyclic dienone this is the dienone the parent value is 254 nanometer now we will look for the increment due to defense substitution so double bond extended conjugation increased by 30 alkyl group or ring residues at alpha position this is alpha position of this carbon which is carbonyl is increasing the lambda max by 10 substitution at beta increases by 12 and substitution on gamma and delta position increases by 18 or higher position also increases by 18 polar groupings means oh group at alpha beta gamma position increase these values ocs3 at alpha beta delta position increases by 6 ocs3 at alpha, beta, gamma, delta position increases these values, while halides increases these values in the parent value, and amines at beta position increases 95. Now, important is exocyclic double bond, which increases by 5, and homocyclic dyne component increases the value of parent is 39. So, let's uh, calculate it using some examples. So, this is the example of acyclic enone. This is the parent enone, which is acyclic. And if you look in the table, acyclic enone means this one has parent value 215 nanometer. So we'll put the parent value 215 nanometer. Now we will look for substituent. So it has one substituent at alpha position, which increases the value by 10. 
Now it has two beta substituents. So one beta substituent increased by 2L. So two will increase by 24. So when we will add, it will have total 249. And the observed value also 249 nanometers. So finally, Woodward rule was able to predict this lambda max value for this molecule or this enon. Now this is the another example of enon having extended conjugation. So this is the parent enon for us here. And this is a six membered enon. If we will go back in the table, the six membered enon, this is six membered has parent value 215 again. So we will put the parent value 215. Now double bond extended conjugation add 30 to this parent value. So this is the extended double bond between gamma and delta position. Now this is homocyclic dyne. If we go back to table, the homocyclic dyne component add extra 39. So means we have, there's a homocyclic dyne, so we will have to add value 39. Now we have to look for substituent. So there's no substituent at alpha, beta, gamma, delta position. There's a substituent at this position. This is the substituent or ring residues at this position, which is delta position. So ring residues at delta position or beyond that delta position increase the parent value by 18. So we have to put this value here, 18. So when we will add, we are getting 302 nanometer and the observed value was 300 nanometer. This is the another example of five membered enone. So if you go back the parent value for five membered enone is 202 nanometer. So now we have to look for ring residue or substituents. So this has two substituent at beta position. These are the substituent which are highlighted in bold. So one in residue increased by 12. So two will increase by 24. Now we have to look for exocyclic double bond. So this bond between alpha and beta position is exocyclic for this ring. So one exocyclic bond increased by five. We have to put five here. And now when we will add it, it become 231 nanometer. And the observed value was 226. So again, Woodward rule is help us to predict the lambda max value for this five membered enone. This is another example of five membered enone. So the parent value for five membered enone is 202 nanometer. Now we will look for substitutions. So there's a one halide at alpha position that is bromo. So bromo at alpha position increases the value by 25. So if we look here in this table, the bromo at alpha position increases the value by 25. So we have to put 25 here. Now there's a two substituent at beta position or two ring residue at the beta position. So one residue at beta position increased by 12. So total there will be 24 increment. Now this bond is exocyclic for this ring because this is the sign of a ring is this side. So this ring has this bond as an exocyclic bond. So one exocyclic bond will increase by five. So finally, after any this value, we are getting 256 nanometer. And the observed value was 251. That's again very close. So we were able to predict this value using good world rules. And this way we can calculate the value for different conjugated system using Woodward rules. And thank you very much. Mm -hmm.